Fairlane Town Center is a super regional shopping mall in Dearborn, Michigan that opened in 1976. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The Fairlane Town Center opened on March 1st, 1976. At one time, it was one of America's most futuristic mid 20th century shopping malls. It was built on a 275 acre plot located 12 miles west of the center of the city of Detroit in suburban Dearborn, Michigan. Fairlane Town Center was a joint venture of the Bloomfield Hills, Michigan based Topman Company and Dearborn based Ford Motor Land Development Company. It was the centerpiece of Ford's master plan 2,360-acre Fairlane community. Fairlane Town Center consisted of two retail levels with a smaller third floor sandwiched between the two at the center of the center. The new mall was dedicated on March 1st, 1976. Good year. It was a 1.2 million square foot shopping complex. It was anchored by a two level, 244,000 square foot Sears, a two level, 200,000 square foot JC Penny, A three-level, 240,000 square foot Detroit-based Hudson's opened its doors on July 19, 1976. Among the tenants included The Gap, Walden Books, Olga's Kitchen, and Youth Center Stores. The Fairlane Ice Arena, an indoor skating rink, opened on March 3, 1976. On the level above was the UA The Movies at Fairlane Multiplex. This five-screen venue showed its first features on March 31st, 1976. The most noteworthy feature of the 1970s Fairlane Mall was its axe, or automatically controlled transportation system. Originally proposed as a double-track two-mile loop, the People Mover was to link the Ford World Headquarters, an office complex, Fairlane Town Center, and a new Hyatt Hotel. The system put into service in March of 1976 had been scaled down to operate over a half mile of track. Its elevated guideway connected level two of the mall with the adjoining Hyatt Regency Dearborn, serving as Ford's experiment in personal rapid transit technology. The axe was dismantled and removed from the premises in 1989. A two level 122,000 square foot Lord and Taylor opened on March 6, 1978. The first coffee beanery opened at the mall in 1978. A two-level 90,000 square foot Saks Fifth Avenue debuted on February 22, 1980. The five anchor shopping hub now encompassed approximately 1.5 million leasable square feet. In the early 1980s, the ice skating rink was removed and the space was converted to a five screen movie theater operated by United Artists. Five screens are on the ground floor and an additional five screens on the second floor. It would later close in the late 1990s. The space was demolished to make way for a 21-screen Star Theater Multiplex, which was added in 1999. Also in 1999, a lifestyle cafe food court was added. 
In November of 1997, Saks Fifth Avenue closed and reopened as a one-level 30,000 square foot Saks Off Fifth clearance store. In August of 2001, Hudson's closed and reopened as Marshall Fields. In 2004, Fairlane adopted an adult supervision policy to discourage underage loitering. So much for hanging out at the mall all day, right? In September of 2006, Marshall Fields closed and the store was converted to Macy's along with all other Marshall Fields. Lord and Taylor closed in August of 2005. On December 31st, 2007, Saks Off Fifth was closed. The Saks building was demolished soon after, with the plaza, a two-tenant collection of sit-down restaurants, being built on its space. This added P.F. Chang's China Bistro and Bravo Cucina Italiana to the mall's tenant list. Both restaurants served their first meals on November 18, 2008. The adjusted gross leasable area of Fairlane Town Center was now 1.4 million leasable square feet with 158 stores and services. In 2014, Tobman Centers sold Fairlane Town Center to Starwood Retail Partners, an affiliate of Greenwich, Connecticut Starwood Capital Group. The transaction included seven shopping malls, these located in Michigan, Texas, Florida, North Carolina, and Virginia, at a cost of $1.4 billion. In 2017, Ford Motor Company added new offices in the former Lord & Taylor and part of the wing accommodating more than 200,000 square feet of space. It was nicknamed Ford & Taylor by employees. The wing got blocked off in early April of 2016. On September 2, 2018, after 42 years at the Fairlane Town Center, Sears closed In 2020, the mall, along with Stony Point Fashion Park in Richmond, Virginia, and the shops at Willow Bend in Plano, Texas, got new ownership after Starwood defaulted on its loan. The mall was eventually acquired by a joint venture of Dallas-based Centennial and Collie Partners and a New York City-based Waterfall Asset Management. The transaction closed on May 4, 2022. Ford closed its offices in Fairlane Town Center shortly after. AMC closed the mall's theater on November 13, 2022. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was six, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. So what do you remember about this mall? Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment or a suggestion for a mall from your childhood, or how about your favorite mall? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Eric C. Productions.